So good morning, welcome back to another video. I've got Del, Al, Joe and Dean with me today. We're on our way to Westbury Whitehorse. So we've got 120 kilometres. We've got two official climbs at Park Hill out of Longleat and the Westbury Whitehorse climb itself. Yes, yeah, so it should be a good one. And we'll catch up with Al about his Everesting attempt and how that went. I don't talk about it. <laughs> but as you've asked, as you've asked. Did it hurt, Al? I've only got six hours. <laughs> So yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later, so we better get going. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. There's climbs that weren't actually uh, advertised on the route. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're just the... Uh, Dessert, what's it Ian calls them? Transitions, they're just the transitions. <laughs> we got the big climbs to come. There are camels on one of them though. Camels. You don't get camels on every climb. <laughs> the storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left Alright, so we've done 40k. The wind is still there. We're now starting to climb up the hill to Horningsham before we descend into the Longleat Estate. Well, not really a hill. I'm in the wrong gear. It's definitely a hill. You say it's a hill. There's definitely a hill coming out. <laughs> more like a driveway. <laughs> oh, well, this is a transition then, but it's definitely, there's definitely a hill. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And We are authorised because it's National Cycle Network. Yeah, you, you just got to bunny hop that though, Al. Yeah, you, do, you do have to watch out for the security guys though. They, they didn't take to us too, apparently, last time. Oh, oh that's because we were slightly, slightly deviated off the route, yeah. the no, cycle no, route. Stepped on the grass. Yeah. Should we draw straws? Well, you, <laughs> will you bunny hop first and we'll put it on TikTok when you fall yeah. over? Yeah. Don't do like we did because that will get you reprimanded, won't it? It will, yeah. But don't put, yeah, don't it's whether whether you want to do the TikTok dance in front of the house. <laughs> I have got a new routine plan. Oh no. We haven't had a chance to get no, together. No, no. Right, here so we go. <laughs> We're going uh, this way, up Park Hill, past the camels. It is quite a steep climb. I think it's number 103 on the another official 100 climbs. And it is quite a toughie, if I remember rightly. It was also on the old uh, Longleat Lionheart Sportive, if you ever did that one back in the day, in March, where it was quite tough. The year I did it, it was snowing when we come up here and people were getting off and coming back down again. But here we go, another effort up the climb. Then, coffee at the cafe at Shearwater Lake. It's all over there to the left. Yeah. You reckon you could ever rest this one out? It's, uh, oh. <laughs> it's not bad is it? <laughs> no, they're all over the far end. That always happens when we come to Longleat. The animals are always hiding over the other side. Nice climb there. Lovely scenery. Yeah. You boys like that climb? It's nice, isn't it? Mm. It's not too first time for you, Joe? Yeah, first time, yeah. Didn't see the camels, though. Didn't see the camels, no. Oh, here's Del. One stone lion. <laughs> A stone lion, yeah. yeah. Not as ferocious as the real thing. <laughs> so you enjoy that, Del? <laughs> Did you see all the animals? There was camels, there was giraffes, there was elephants. I saw sheep. <laughs> yeah, next stop cafe at Shearwater Lake. All downhill through the woods. To create a song. I don't wanna miss a beat. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns the sun. Right, so we're approaching the cafe for a much needed coffee stop. I think we've done uh, 
700 on meters of climbing, 800 maybe. A big lake there, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Cafe. I it. No public <laughs> toilets. You can't steal the key this time. That's <laughs> ridiculous. So, wow, how was your Everesting attempt? Attempts, should we say? Attempts, yes. I'm glad you got that in. <laughs> Uh, horrid weather was awful. It's just terrible. What the heck? <laughs> but you kind of you kind of get to a point where you just got to do it, or else you either lose your fitness, or you know. So it was like the best window of opportunity, and just the rain. Oh. And you're going to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've learned. I've, done, I've made you all the mistakes now. You stick into Porlock Hill. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It's just it's perfect for me because it's not too steep. And, but you know, the second time was a mechanical failure and I, and I was at that point where I thought I'd just done my second one in darkness which so done the first I started off doing the first half of the ride yeah in darkness and that's fine because you're most awake so I've ridden nine hours nine hours in the dark and then you see the sun come up it's a real really great boost you know really lifts you yeah and then through to 8:30 was fine I was really confident. And then I did my first one from 8.30 to 9.30, so that was with four to go. Got really cold, I had six layers on, skiing gloves, and I got really cold and I thought, if I get a problem now, I'm in big trouble, like a puncher or... Yeah. And I got down the bottom and the bloody car wouldn't start. Oh no. My, my Garmin was on 5%, but I was gone, I was like... Oh, but massive kudos though, massive respect. I, I, I'll tell you something really interesting. I had to wait three hours in the car, and I'd, I'd, I know I'd given up then, I knew I wasn't going to do it. Garmin had gone, I knew yeah. it's, the, the ride is finished, Thank and you. so... I sat, it's really dark. I'm not lying here, this is not from the camera. I'm sat in the car waiting for a dream flag, and I'm looking at a, an image across the road, which is a car parked up, and I'm seeing a group of people clear as can be stood by that car just waiting like a family in all different sizes and they're all talking to each other I can't hear them they're all talking to each other yeah and then I look at, in someone's garden just behind the car and I see a tree and there's a family of people sticking out the top of the tree got out of the car Enjoy. and they, they yeah. weren't there <laughs> oh crikey and I'm hallucinating got the woke up the next morning my son I said I was telling him about the day and and uh I said, you'll never guess, Ben, you're going to think I've gone completely mad. What happened to me last night at the end? And he said, you weren't seeing people, were you? How did you know that? <laughs> do, you want so, the, do you want the bad news, Al? I haven't pressed record. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say all that again. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Right, and after a hectic chase in against the main roads, because there's no other way of getting to Westbury from Warminster because of all the army ranges. So we're now at the foot of the Westbury climb on our way up. It's a bit of a steep one and uh, we'll see you at the top. <laughs> we'll definitely see them at the top. I think they're, I'm surprised they're chatting to be honest. I thought they'd have gone by now. He's all back. He's back there somewhere. He's there somewhere. Doesn't break. How do you want to go down there? <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Westby White Horse. You're That's like concrete, isn't it? It's definitely it concrete. concrete. From the concrete yeah, factory down there. Nice, we caught the Tailwind Express all the way home, hopefully. Dale doesn't like horses, and apparently this horse doesn't like bikes. Just, uh, just reared up a bit when we went past. 
I, I thought she said, be careful this horse bites, but <laughs> Joe reckons, <laughs> Joe reckons she says, careful this horse doesn't like bites. Yeah. Bit of a difference. Neither, neither which was good. No. no. Heart rate just went up a bit. <laughs> I thought, oh. I wasn't quite sure what it should have been to do. Wait till Del comes past. No. <laughs> Dean said, talk, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. I, I can do that. Just diverted past Lullington Castle because Del and Dean missed it a couple of weeks ago. So, oh, uh, as it was en route, we just do a little diversion and uh, show them the castle. Right, so somewhere back there is Del and Al. Oh, just yeah, just in the distance. Guess what we've got in front of us again? She's gonna love it. Another horse. You're a bit nervous this time, Joe. <laughs> What's your favourite? It's, really <laughs> it's a close pass as well. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Well, we just had a lovely descent off the Mendips down into Shepton and Camus has decided to take us back uphill over Darcyl. <laughs> oh, could have done without that to be honest. We've already done 1600 metres of climbing, which I can't even remember whether that was on the profile or not. <laughs> it seems a lot, but that's why we're all creaking a little bit. Apart from Joe, Joe's in beast mode and he's way up the road. What have you got? 5001? I don't know where the hell that came from. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been out of pavement there, I reckon. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a few metres short. I'm 26 metres short of 1,800 metres. So, great ride today, great company. Uh, 126 kilometres currently, so it'll be about 127 by the time I get home. And just shy of 1,800 metres of climbing, so <laughs> it was pushing on the pedals all day. My feet hurt more than anything, my legs still good. Uh, still got quite a bit of energy. She'll be glad to finish today. This week, I think we have, uh, I'll try and put up the review video of this Trek bike, hopefully sometime this week. And again, not quite sure knowing what's gonna happen with lockdown there. They're talking about another two week lockdown circuit break. So uh, that could very well come into play. So who knows? But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.